behind my story, I'm trying to do a lot of things. A story of pain, a story of changing my life, a story of someone who was always alone, who was always insulted, who never found his side. Oh my goodness, okay. Who never found his, see, the screen even can't get my face. <laughs> Told you, I don't like the big screen. <laughs> who was always insulted in schools, who was always alone, who was always sitting in the corner. And actually, I used to eat my, my, my friend's sandwiches. I used to annoy the teachers. And sadly, he happens to be a basketball player. And when I say basketball player, I mean thousands of people used to come to the basketball court and insult me publicly. Man, I'm Egyptian. I'm broken from inside. When I really, really loved the game. But can you guys imagine 10,000 people insulting you, only you the whole game? That's very, very sad. So luckily, I have a beautiful family that came once to me and told me, don't be worried. I was like, what do you mean, don't be worried? I'm always alone, I'm always crying in my room, I don't have friends, I don't have a life, I don't find my sizes. What do you mean, don't be worried? They were like, be happy. I was like, what do you mean? Please don't be a good mom and a good dad. Be happy, don't worry. Life is good. And then my dad told me, listen, you have to ask yourself this question. Do you have a problem in your life? You have two answers to this, it's a yes or a no. If it's a no, then why are you worried? If it's a yes, you ask yourself, can you do something about it? Again, it's a yes or a no. So when he told me that, I was like, so I can change my life? I can be a normal person? Like, I can be a normal person, no one will make fun of me, I will not be sad, I will not be sitting crying all day, I will have friends, I can be normal? And he was like, yes. And then I started thinking, and I really wanted to take my first step. And I know the first step is always the hardest, just think. Everyone sitting over here, just imagine you have extra 65 kilograms that you want to lose. Think about it. I know it's always the, I know it's always the hardest. Because before you take any step, sometimes you're afraid, will I take the first step and succeed? Or am I going to take the first step and fail? So sometimes like you're afraid, should I take the first step and lose 65 kilograms? Or should I just stay like this, a cute boy, like you saw my pictures? But I, I told myself that this life is about risks. And I told myself, I'll take the risk. If I win, I'll lead. If I lose, I'll guide people. So there's nothing that I can lose. So my first next step was losing 65 kilograms of my weight and playing a professional basketball player, playing on a very high level of basketball, where the commentators, the TVs, radios, everyone's talking about the guy who lost weight. Oh, nice, this guy lost weight. He changed his position from a, from, from a center to a point guard. He's fast, he's playing professional. I was happy. So I created a group which is called Ticha Group, and this group didn't have any missions, any goals. It didn't have anything. We were just trying to motivate people. We were trying to change them, trying to motivate them through seminars. My first seminar started 17th of April, 2012, 12 p.m., M9 in the University of Sharjah. First, that's where Ticha Group started. And after I saw the reactions of the people, after I saw everyone inspired, everyone's like, wow, he's telling us his real story. I started giving more presentations, the same reactions of everyone. Everyone is listening, everyone is inspired. Oh, he's not trying to sell a product. Oh, he's, he's young, he's not trying to sell, he's not, he's not concerned about money. He's just trying to help. So they actually used to listen to me. Till I got invited the last year, 25th of Feb, 5 p.m., when TEDx organizers, thank you, called me and they said, we want you to be a part of TEDx University of Sharjah, which was a very big thing for me. I was like, what, TEDx? So I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a speaker in TEDx? I was very happy. So after I started saying my story, telling people my story, everyone was making fun of me. Everyone was making fun of the group. Oh, Ticha group, but Ticha, ra, 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 ra. all of that stuff. Everyone was making fun, because actually, Ticha in Arabic is the abbreviation of the word Batiha Watermelon, and my mom is the one who invented the name. <laughs> and I kept the name, I kept the name Ticha, because everyone was insulting me with this name, everyone was making fun of me. So I kept the name. But when people were making fun of me, when people were insulting me, when they were talking behind my back, I didn't really care about what they said. At least in mosquitoes found me attractive. <laughs> if mosquitoes will appreciate what I'm doing, that would be fine for me. So I kept on going, giving more presentations in more schools, trying to inspire as much people as I can. And my first accomplishment was I, I presented 100 Dream Believe Achieve seminars across the world. Number one. 
A book is being written about my life by a very well-known American author in the States and they're going to have 100,000 books distributed in different schools and universities. I'm one of the lead actors in an American movie called Camels. And then a guy called me, his name is Chad Charles, he said, Ticha, in 2016, we will make a movie about your life in Hollywood. Don't give up on your dreams. Most people, most people in this world, they raise their families and earn some money and then they die. And now when I say die, I mean die mentally, not physically. They stop growing, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves, they stop dreaming, they stop working on themselves. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? Because of three reasons. One is failure, they're afraid to fail. Two is people, they're afraid that people will make fun of their dreams. And three is success, they're afraid to be successful. What if they can't handle it? And let me tell you a secret, if you do not build your dreams, someone else will hire you to build theirs. And when you have a dream, don't forget that when you have a dream, no one will want it for you, no one will join you, no one will support you, no one will care, no one will have the vision, no one will see it. It's important for you to know that. You have to believe in yourself, even if no one else sees it for you, you must see it for yourself. And you have to be willing to die for whatever you want to do. Just take the first step. And don't forget that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Stop talking about your dreams, stop talking about your goals, stop talking about how you can change and affect the world. Just take the first step. You can make your school proud, you can make your family proud, you can make, you can make everyone proud. You can touch millions of people's lives. Don't let anybody steal your dream, your life, your choice. But before you clap for me, um, I have a slide, but I want you guys to say everything that will come on the slide. Please, can you do that, please? Thank you. Okay, let's start. Thank you.